they're still hooking. There's only three spots left. I think this girl knows what she's doing. What in the hell is going on? Hey, folks, and this is very serious. Pay attention. We have tornado sirens going just a few miles out. It's time to put the disaster plan into effect. Please move below the bleachers immediately. Where did that come from? The tornado warning just went off. The siren. Holy crap. The tornado siren went off a few miles away. Are we really evacuated the track? They said a tornado is coming our way. It began with old school drag racing for pink slips. We're doing this for title. A best two out of three quarter mile drag race. Frustrations mounted. You want a fast car? Get your car out here. Run it all out. All out was bored. Sandbagging is not allowed in this show. Now, as many as 500 grassroots racers battle the odds. Mechanical meltdowns and each other for their shot at fame and glory. Qualifying times are recorded and a field is selected to face off in a final nose-to-nose -nose heads up competition for cash and prizes. There's just one rule. Run your car all out. And at the end of a very long day, there can only be one Pink's All Out Champion. Hey, good morning and uh, welcome to Pink's All Out. I, uh, it's good to have you here. That's awesome. You have one job, you go all out. All out, that's the simple rule. You're also gonna be called up to the staging lanes. It's gonna be 12 second cars against 12 seconds. 11 against 11, 9, 9, 8, 8. That's good for the crowd. They get to see how close you guys are. One of you in the seats today is going home with $18,000 in cash and prizes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right, you guys got it. Let's have a great day. Y'all have fun and let's race. Let them. It's all out in Indy. Now, when you think about Indy, you got to understand the history of this track. These guys are going down the same strip as the most famous drag racers in the history of drag racing. Mo Downey, Garland, all of them made their name on this asphalt. Indy, welcome to the Pink's All Out. This is the big race. This is where everybody wants to race. This is where all the legends were made on this track right here. This is basically a crowning duel for the NHRA for the professional series. The U.S. Nationals, the history of this track, I mean, that is the professional event. But these guys aren't professional, so this is a chance for the amateur guy. This is their U.S. Nationals today. History. This track is history. We've raced here about five years at the U.S. Nationals, so. But this is going to be a lot more exciting. Bracket racers, you know, you don't get the experience very often. It's really impressive to be where, you know, where all the big guys have run. There's a lot of history at this track, and it'd be awesome to win here. In both rounds of qualifying, all the cars run according to their self-proclaimed elapsed time, which means you'll see close, door-to-door -door racing all day long. The first round of qualifying here at the Indy Peaks All Out is the Pro Tree round of qualifying. Here the racers face the exact Christmas tree the pros do. The goal is to cut a perfect four tenths of a second light by anticipating when the green light illuminates. You snooze, you lose. Compared to my home track, this is huge. This is like Disneyland. They'll be crushing everything out there on the track. I'm gonna roam the track from corner to corner, keeping up with all the incredible action, while my good friend and fellow partner in crime, Ken Herring, is out in the pits talking to the drivers and checking out the cool cars. Living the good life up in the war room, Brian and Cal and the charming Speed Girls are busy logging and verifying the elapsed times of all the cars racing today. Now, where do I sign up for that game? He is 
broke, broke, broke. Oh, look at this mess. Let's break another one. That's torque, man. That's right, that's torque. It twisted the right off, spit her out, put the pinion out the front of the rear end. Second class and the high level second class basically took themselves out because of catastrophic failure. That 1050 to 990, this class is just absolutely shining. Oh no! Coming up on Pink's All Out. Somebody has heard. The guy's still not out of the car. And later. We have a jump in the left lane. And Michelle was too fast in the right lane. Line him up again, let's run a rematch. Ain't no rematch, ain't no five back. Right now we're racing in Indianapolis, home of the Nationals, and today, King's All Out. We're in the middle of round one qualifying, and the racing has become terrifying as Sean Finley loses control of his Camaro and tags Pete Johnson in his Mustang. That's the worst wreck we've had. Somebody is hurt. Jeez. The, guy's, the guy's still not out of the car. Is he out? Is he OK? He walked out. Hey, he walked out. It looks like they broke out. Other gentleman lost control and caught him in one of the corners. Is your son driving? It's my son driving, yes. Have you, have you got a report on him? Uh, he's up and fine. He's complaining about a shoulder injury, but other than that, he's fine. This is part of drag racing. So, hits the wall so hard here, tears his quarter panel up, got the beat off. Pretty hard impact. The guy's in the ambulance. He's going to be fine. Safety first, it pinks all out. But definitely running as hard as you could possibly run. Uh, car left hard. It was pulling hard. And next thing I knew, the passenger side glass was just shattering in. Uh, I couldn't control the car at that point. Reached up. Uh, I pulled the parachute, you know, just did what I could to get the car stopped. And I'm still here. I walked away, and I've got another car, and we're going to try to get back in it. We're going to load this one up and see if we can get through and make a pass or two, maybe. Can you imagine wrecking your car at over 160 miles an hour, then getting into another car and running all out again? Win or lose, Pete Johnson is the man today. job in the first round. One group of racers has clearly established itself as the class to beat. Now it's time for the second round of qualifying here at Peaks All Out. The floaty minimum arm drop qualifying. The floaty minimum, that's the second round. The electronic box is going to say a time. Both cars have to go faster than the time that you see come up. If you or the person in the lane next to you doesn't go that time, you're going home. He's gone. He's out of here. Now for the competitors, the presser is on to perform. It's racer against Rich. Leave the line too early or leave the line too late, and you will become a spectator for the rest of the day. OK, we're going to push this guy. Stand of the day. For that wheel stand, let him go. I want to go home right now. It's not going to get any better than that. What do you think about the floating minimum? Well, I think it's a good idea. Okay. Because it's going to help you, in my opinion, it's going to help you stop sandbagging. It's fair because cars are going to pick up or slow down just a little bit. You're going to push them. Side by side. Oh, good pass, Rich. Nice. Good, good, good. Very good. Nice. 
I'm just gonna be nasty here. Look how fast these things are. 866. 866, are you kidding me? Completes the second round, qualifying of pinks all out. All right, time to head up to the war room and choose the lucky racers who'll be part of the big show later tonight. Probably one of the closest racing, 0.11. And exactly what you were talking about out there, low, low 10. 10 1. Yeah, 10, 10 1. 2. 1. So, 10, so, 2. The, so the 10 1 group held up. Checked it three times over. Good class. It held up. Because sometimes, well, once we arm jump, it blows them apart. So well, I'm so happy it's the 10-1. Good. Good class. Exciting day. Oil downs. I'm glad you guys agree on the class. I'm glad it held up. This should be a no-brainer. Good job, boys. Coming up next on Pink's All Out. Oh, no. Somebody say it's raining. And later. Oh, no! and want to stay and see some heads up racing, say Pink's all out! So far today at Indy, we saw an incredible group of weekend warriors put on a show that would make the pros envious. In just a few moments, we're going to see 32 of these hard chargers race their guts out for a chance to become the Pink's all-out champion and win a cool 18 grand in cash and prizes. It doesn't get any better than this. It's time for the Pink's all-out 32. The 32-car runoff is exactly what it sounds like. 32 cars that are only a tenth of a second or less apart from each other in elapsed time. They're going to race for a spot in the all-out 16. There's only one rule. In order to move on to the big show, you have to put the pedal to the metal and win. Since the cars are so close together in speed, the racers really have to be perfect. Leaving off Rich's arm drop, their reaction times are going to be critical and the difference between moving on and packing up for the day. Right lane, good pass. Turbo car. Totally awesome. I feel pretty lucky just to make the final 16. Yeah. Oh. Good race, Rich. 4.5 inches. We're starting to feel a little bit of pressure now that you're here. We'll see. <laughs> Perfect race, left lane. 18,000 bucks, are you kidding me? Oh. Napa tools, this is awesome. time and we're in 16s this is gonna be good this is pretty racing this is amazing. it really is amazing <laughs> stuff it's your last six pair it's raining. nova versus malibu oh no somebody say it's raining what is it what are you serious it's raining we we're rocking we we're rolling now we're raining Rain. <laughs> the forecast had a slight chance of rain. There's short delays, but man, I don't think Mother Nature likes racing. All right, we got about 15 minutes before Mother Nature puts the hate on us. Man, I can't believe this. The track is worried about lightning, and they should be. We're fighting the weather. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
You got six to go. Yep. The track's still hooking. Good pass. Perfect pass. That was all on your arm job, Rich. There's only three spots left. I think this girl knows what she's doing. What in the hell is going on? Hey, folks, this is very serious. Pay attention. We have tornado sirens going just a few miles out. It's time to put the disaster plan into effect. Please move below the bleachers immediately. Where did that come from? The tornado warning just went off. The siren. Holy crap. The tornado siren went off a few miles away. Are we really evacuating the track? They said a tornado is coming our way. There's a tornado siren just went off two miles away. You know, Unbelievable. Everyone meeting in the stands, please need you to make your way out before the weather comes this way. It is developing to our west. All those in favor of going home, say aye. All those that want to stay and see some heads up racing, say peace all out. Post the word has come in. We are done for the evening. No additional racing activities are going to be taking place here tonight. Get to your cars if you can. Time to head home. Nine o'clock, the gates open. Racing will begin at 11. Mother Nature is the winner tonight. Next on Pink's All Out. Welcome to Pink's All Out, day two. And later. Right lean went nine, nine, nine. Too fast. Oh. Line them up again, let's run a rematch. Where did it go? Where did it, how fast did it go? Welcome to Pink's All Out, day two. Two. Why is it day two of Pink's All Out Indy? Well, after a great afternoon of qualifying and running 13 races and an exciting 32-car runoff, Mother Nature decided to throw a wrench in the proceedings by offering up a tornado evacuation. We survived that, and now with three spots left in the All Out 16 up for grabs, we're about to pick up where we left off. Say hello to the racers, everybody. Here's the deal. 13 of you are in. Who's the uh, six that we have that have to still have the race? All right, this is your moment to stay focused. After this first round of 16, you're gonna have $1,000 to bet with. But the big prize today, the thing that you're racing for, is $10,000 cash and an $8,000 Napa tool chest fully loaded. Gentlemen, ladies, let's yeah! race, guys. Have fun, let's go, let's go. Let's get these things fired up, boys. Perfect race, left lane. Good race, left lane. Michelle is moving on. Perfect. Now you have your pinks all. 16, good job. Okay, all the preliminary racing is over at Indy, and now it's time to get serious with the Pink's All Out 16. These 16 cars are virtually identical in their performance on the track. Now, the difference between winning in this round and collecting a cool $1,000 or going home is going to be how the racers leave off Rich's arm drop. Really, who do we got coming up? Well, Tony is in the 86 Mustang small block Ford power. Him and his wife went on the first date in this car. We are ready to give this place a show. We're going to show you what a, a yellow Fox body Ford can do. Man here, the Camaro took 15 years off of racing to raise his kids. Got the bug to go racing again, and all my buddies still race, and I went to the track with them and had to get another car. I didn't know I won. 
I couldn't tell. It was close. It was real close. All right, Jim. Good luck, and you're a thousand dollars richer, buddy. We got Jim in the left. I'm trying to figure out how to get that toolbox home on my open trailer. So I'm, I'm going to duct tape it. We got Sam in the right. Always wished that if they came around local, that it would be something I could get into, and, and I looked out and made it. Good race, Rich. All right, Sam. Good job, my friend. You're in the all-out eight. Good luck, my man. Six spots remain. Aaron here. His dad took this car from New York when he was 17 years old in the Navy. It was his very first car. I'm going to get up there and try to treat Rich the best I can. Over here, we got a 68 GTX. Been racing the Mopars for about five, 10 years. Had to paint a purple for my wife. That's her favorite color. So. Come and watch me. <laughs> yeah. All one on the arm drop. Anybody can win this. It's gonna be a Mopar, the 112 right here. I tried to do my best and drive it out the big end, but it just wasn't enough. Mopar, Mopar. There you go. That's the best the word of the day is Mopar. Dennis in the all out A. Believe it or not, Dwayne had a heart attack in March 08. This guy considers this show, and heads up racing, his new lease on life. We are a very tight class, and it's all gonna happen. It's all gonna be one on the starting line. Michelle comes from a long line of Mopar racers, our only female competitor. Really like it to have that uh, $10,000 in cash. My husband likes to have the uh, toolbox, too. Rich, stop, stop. Left lane is a jump, man. Left lane's a jump. He's out. Left lane jump. Left lane jump. Michelle's moving on. Here's the deal, Rich. Michelle in the right lane went 999. Is that she's too fast? Oh. That's gotta be good. Coming up. All right, we have a very interesting situation. We have a jump in the left lane, and Michelle was too fast in the right lane. Oh. And later. Jerry, fired up. He's going home. Welcome back to the 24-hour Pink's All Out here in Indianapolis. We started yesterday morning, and thanks to scary tornado warnings and a huge thunderstorm, we're still racing a day later. Left lane to jump, he's out. Right now, there is a ton of drama on the track as Dwayne Brooks jumped Rich's arm drop, and his competitor, Michelle Harrison, may have run too fast. All right, we have a very interesting situation. We have a jump in the left lane, and Michelle was too fast in the right lane. That car was all over the place. It couldn't have gone fast. Oh. How fast did it go? Line him up again. Let's run a rematch. How about a rematch in Indianapolis? Ain't no rematch. Oh, no buyback. We need a winner, so line them back up. GTF and 430F are both coming back for a rematch. Michelle, you went too fast. You picked up over two tenths, and he went, he jumped, as you saw, right? Mm -hmm. You got to race it off, OK? Are you OK? Yep. Are you a little salty? I'm good. All right. <laughs> you jumped, and she went too fast. So we're going to run this off again. That's it. It's the rematch in Indianapolis. She got the jump, Rich. Go! Mopar. It's twice. Hey. You had to do it twice. I know. You had I'm to do it to twice. What? I mean, you're in the final eight. What are you going to show these guys? Show them how it's done. There was 400 and some guards that went home and didn't even have a chance. I had a chance, and it didn't work out. From this day forward, she will be Mopar Michelle. Yes. It's been since the very first episode that a woman has won Pink's All Out. Are you prepared to give that a try today? All right, Michelle, good luck, and welcome to the All Out Eight. Hey, Will, tell us who we have coming up. We got 69 Nova, guys running a small block Chevy. One of my high school buddies actually built this car when I was in high school. It's looked this way since we was in high school. On this end, this guy bought a Ford Fairmount because he says it's so ugly, it's cool. This car uh, belongs to my grandfather. He's 75, 
and he's been racing uh, for 55 years. He built this from the ground up. I was all on your drop, Ritz. Josh, you are part of the All Out Eight. Good luck, stay focused, and go after it, pal. Jerry in the left, Tim in the right. Believe it or not, it is a six cylinder in this 87 Buick T Type. Of course, on top, that's a 70 millimeter turbo. I bought it off of eBay. We pretty much completely changed everything on it except for the color of the car. 72 Duster, a couple months ago he got together, pulled his first ever wheelie. Aside from this weekend, that's his greatest memory right there. The guy that I bought it off of bought it in 1988 as a race car. So it's been a race car for quite a long time. He's got it! Oh, the Buick! Yeah! Hold up, everybody, hold up. He won a 10-0 on a 21. That's two tenths. Knock him out. The Buick was too fast. It's the Mopar. I can't believe it. I stayed in it all the way to the end, and it got me two tenths too quick. Hey, Jerry, $1,000 richer. Got yourself into the eight. All right, Willie, what do we got? This guy paid $4,000 for this Camaro in 1998 out of a barn. We have put more time in this car than I even care to go into. My wife don't even know where I am. This guy parked this car the entire year. This is only the second time this year he's ran it, and he's doing it just for you. This is exciting. I had a bus time. It's all fours. <laughs> Here comes the Chevy. Uh-oh, he's hurt. Good clean pass. It's good! Hey! Yeah! I seen him put his arms down. I thought I jumped him. So I let out part of racing this. <laughs> Michael, how you doing, buddy? Good, doing good? Thank you. Good job, buddy. Welcome to the eight. Hey, Willie, we have Tom in the left and Ryan in the right. He bought this car in 1979 for 500 bucks. First car I ever bought when I was 16 years old. It's been a race car for about 15 years. He bought this car, Rick, for $300. My father and I built it ground up to what it is now. That guy fired up. Point zero one, 24 inches. That was the best launch this car has ever had, and I can't wait to see it on TV. Close pass. One car wins, one car loses. Well, I was a loser. All right, good job, buddy. $1,000 richer, you're part of the All Out 8. You ready for the rest of the day? Good luck, Ryan. Ryan will be one of the eight racers going head to head on a quest for $10,000 and an $8,000 Napa tool chest. <laughs> Coming up next. You have a Mopar, but what's the caveat? It's a small block Chevy. What? And later. The clock is ticking, Willie. If it is over 40 seconds, I'm sending the right hand lane. 10 seconds down, boys. Get some fuel in there. Now it's time for the All Out 8. Here the best eight races of the day have to prove that they have the skill and the talent to make it one step closer to $10,000 in cash and prizes and a sweet $8,000 Napa tool test. Plus, they can take their winnings and put a little skin in the game. All right, Jim and Ryan, come up and join me, boys. Jim, we have just some simple questions to ask as we get started with this portion of the show. Tell me about your car, tell me about your crew, tell me where you're from. I got a 70 Z28 Camaro, bought the car about a year ago. All right, Ryan, tell me about your car, tell me about your crew. It's an 80 Mercury Capri. I uh, got the car when I was in eighth grade. All right, well, at this point, now it comes down to the money. Now, listen, it's a $500 bet. You're either in or you're out. So, I'm in. You're in? I don't like to gamble, so I'm going to keep my 1000 I think we should honor his request, let him just race for position, shake hands, get to the finish line. First one moves on in the competition. Good luck. All right, here we go, folks. All right, man, the guys are strapping in right now, Rich. This is where all the nerves, all the months of work, hard work, anticipation, blood, sweat, tears, comes down to one single thing, and that is to drop your arm. Two inches, point zero, zero, nine. The Chevy is moving on. I'm going to win this thing. I'm just going to go back and win it. 
I just ran the car, everything it had, did everything the same. We were just nose to nose at the at the finish line. All right, Jim, this was just a position race. Good job. No, talk, no need for a lot of talk. Get up there, you're in the final four. Good job, buddy. All right, Michael, Sam, tell me where you're from, what's going on today with the car. Uh, we're from Kokomo, Indiana. Right. It's a 1970 Dodge Challenger. Good. And Ken? What made you pick the Mopar brand? <laughs> Ken Herring, this Chevy guy just will not quit on us, man. So, Sam, good luck. Good. All right, Michael, tell me, the crew, the car, what's happening? From Grove City, Ohio, Al Moore, the owner, so tracing engines, more hey, probably hey, racing. All right, so, guys, now it comes down to the money. It's a $500 bet. It's not any less, it's not any more, but you're all in or all out with the 500. Let's go five. You want to go five in? The money's out. It's all in. Shake hands, racers, and let's race. Good luck. Two big block beasts going at an old school muscle right here, Rich. They are all yours, man. Let's see some burnout. Come on. Chevy Mopar. Perfect race, 64F, right lane. What are you going to do? He uh, got me on the big end. Sammy, great job. Good run. Thank you. You are now you. in the all-out four. Good luck. Stay focused and get to that finish line first. All, all right? right. Thank Good you job, buddy. Good job. All right. Dennis, come on over. Dennis, tell us about your ride. Tell us about your team, where you're from, all that good stuff. Yeah, uh, Plymouth GTX. I've had for 10 years. 500 foot big block from Chrysler. I recognize that car. Has that thing ever been in Nashville Dragster? Yes, it has. Twice. Last two years in a row. Okay, Josh, tell me about your car, tell me about your team. What you got going on here, pal? Well, we're racing a 80 Ford Fairmont. Mm -hmm. My grandfather. Hey. One of my best friends, hey. Jerry. Hey, Jerry. Where'd you get Frantic Fred from on the door? Uh, they named one of his first race cars, Frantic Fred. This is the third car with that name on it. All right, Dennis, Josh, it now all comes down to the money. It's a $500 bet. You're either all in or you're all out. I'll go in 500. He wants to go in. I'll meet you. Hey, they want to go in. It's an all-out bet, $500. Good luck, shake hands, and let's race. Come on, boys. Under separate these guys. Josh, he knows how to win here at this track. Let's see if Dennis can take him out. Josh, congratulations and position. You have a 25% chance at this point at $18,000 in cash and prizes. All right, here we go. Michelle, before we get started, possibly the worst news I've ever heard in my life, especially who you're standing next to. Tell me about the hybrid that you have. Uh, it's a 1970 Plymouth Duster. You have a Mopar, but what's the caveat to that vehicle? Small block Chevy. It's got a small block Chevy. What? <laughs> what? All right, Jerry, tell us about your vehicle. Mopar all the way. 72 yeah. Duster, 511 cubic inches. Right. Ready, ready to go, 720 horse. All right, now it's all about the money. If you keep your $1,000, we'll totally understand. Jerry, Michelle, what do you want to bet for this race? 500. 500? 500. 500. It's a match. It's a race. It's on! All right, $500. Shake hands, guys, really. Best of luck. Get serious. Let's race. Here we go. Let's see what a big block 511 cubic inch Mopar can do against a small block Chevy. Let's see what happens here. Jerry, this was for $500 and a spot in the All Out Four. Great job. You, you did Willie and myself very proud. We're about to start the All Out Four, and the pressure's on for Indy's cream of the crop. Win in this round, and you've earned a spot in the finals. And for a Mopar fanatic like myself, I love what I'm seeing. Oh, yeah! Let's get started by pairing up the racers. I know you're going to hate this, but. I figure instead of doing the two Mopars like you always like to do, so let's get eliminated, let's do a Mopar versus Camaro matchup and a Mopar versus Ford. All right. You up for that? Yeah. So I, I know you're hating all these Mopars. I'm not it doesn't matter. It only takes one Chevrolet to win, so what does it matter? <laughs> all right. 
Sammy in the Mopar, Big Jim in the Camaro. You're now racing for a spot in the finals. I know you wanted to bet 500 that first race, all right? Sammy, do you want to go with the 500? Sure, I'm down. $500 bet, folks, in a spot in the all-out finals. Racers, shake hands. Good luck, Chevy versus Mopar. We got Big Jim in the Camaro, small block Chevy powered, 412 cubic inches. We got Sam in the big block Challenger, easy headed power, it is 493 cubic inches. Let's fire him up, let's go. Let's see if a Mopar can move on or if Chevy Country is going to bury our boy. This is good racing. Walking tall, Sam Walker in the Mopar. Good job, Sam. Right, Congratulations you. on making it to the finals. You are two wins away from $18,000. All right, good luck, Sammy. Good job. Hey, right, Josh, come on up. Jerry, at this point, you guys know that if you make it to the next round, you're in the finals. You get a 50% chance at $18,000 of cash prices, but it's the best two out of three competition. Are you both prepared for that, If that, in the case that happens? Yes, sir. OK. We're running these cars pretty fast. Is there going to be any kind of issues with overheating in the finals no. if you go? No, OK. No. It now comes down to the money, a spot in the Pink's all-out finals hot lap two out of three competition. Jerry? I'm in. He's in for 500. Josh? He's in for 500. It's going to be Ford Mopar. Shake hands, best of luck, and let's race. Ladies and gentlemen, for everybody in the stands and at home, here is your final Ford representation right here. Our boy Jerry right here. 511 cubic inches of big block Mopar. Will it be a Mopar Mopar final or a Mopar Ford final? Let's see who it's going to be. Coming up next. You get in your cars, you do not get out until there's a winner. And later. This is the biggest purse that these two guys have ever raced for. We're at the Pinks All Out here in Indianapolis. The racing keeps getting better and better all day long. We're in the last race of the All Out Four, and Josh Netherton in his Ford is racing Jerry Hayes in his Duster for an opportunity to race in the Pinks All Out Final. It doesn't get any better than this. We got a Mopar Mopar Final. It launched hard, went straight, felt great. This is awesome being here at Pink's All Out. Yes! Mr. Jerry Hayes in Thank the Mopar. You, Good job, Jerry. Thank you. Fire it up. I'll give you instructions at the top. All right, buddy? Thank great you. job. Hey, Jerry, seriously, great job, man. Thank you. From 400 cars and drivers, it comes down to this. A Mopar, Mopar, Pink's All Out final round. Came down here to the Nationals year after year and watched the big boys run. So uh, now it's our turn. Whoever wins two out of three races is the Indy Pink's All Out champion. Hey, guys, first of all, congratulations for making it this far. I'm so proud of the both of you. But now the true test. Can your car hold up? Can your nerves hold up? Jerry's been leaving pretty good on Rich's arms. You're a hundredth apart. Is this the time you're going to step up and really go after Rich? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Got to. There is no betting at this point. Whatever money you have in your pocket, Sam, I want you to keep and enjoy. Same thing with you, Jerry. But now it's about $10,000 cash provided by speed and, of course, with an $8,000 fully loaded fuel chest. You need to know one thing, it's best two out of three. It's that simple. You get done, you come right back to the water box. Kale, the final question. I, I just I just, I just, want to see both their hands together. They're about equally shaken. <laughs> yep, right there. <laughs> Folks, if you're going to have surgery, do not use either of these two guys right now. Their hands are shaking like this. <laughs> All right, that's it, folks. You keep your money. You get in your cars. You do not get out until there's a winner. Sammy, Jerry, shake hands, and let's Good race. Good luck, boys. We've made all these passes, and now we get to make three more, or hopefully two more. Yeah, a little bit of nerves there. Hopefully it won't affect us. All right, racers, this is it. Fire them up and let's race. Come on, boys. You know how valuable this 
this first victory is going to be. Sammy in the left, Jory in the right. This is the biggest hurt that these two guys have ever raced for. Faster, 8 feet, 0 0.04. All right, folks, here come your two competitors. For race number two, Jerry and Sammy have agreed to switch lane. Let's go! Let's go! Remember, it is 1 to 0. It's a must win for the right lane. Jerry said, here comes. Here we go. Eleven feet point zero five, all off the arm drop. It's coming down to a final race. Here comes Jerry. It's coming down to one final race. Their last pit stop is right here. When he comes back here, this time, we're only going to give him about 30 to 40 seconds to get fuel in his car, just enough to do the run, OK? Here comes Sammy. He's going to take the left lane for the final pass. That's interesting. He won in the right lane. Why wouldn't he go on back? Let's see if he shuts off the car. You want to kill it? You want to kill it? You can kill it if you want to. OK, the clock is ticking. Willie, if it is over about 30 or 40 seconds, right. I'm sending the right-hand lane. It's hot. Can I check the air? Do you want to check? Yes, check the air. 10 seconds down, boys. Get some fuel in there. Good. No safe, no fuel. All right. He's got enough gas. They're just adjusting the air pressure. The right, engine launch is good that time, so I think it spun a little, so they're going to adjust the air pressure get it back down. All right, we good to go, boys? We're ready to roll. Let's fire these cars up. Time to fire it up. Let's go. Jerry, fire it up. He's going home. Uh-oh. Ken. Oh, there we go, there we go. Let's go, boys, let's go, let's get it done. Come on. This is it. It's a one victory to one victory. It is a winner take all. This is it. Best two out of three, Indy, one by Jerry Hayes, Mopar, 72. Very good job, Jerry. <laughs> I was hoping I'd win it, but he just he, uh, pulled around me on the other end. It wasn't much, but he got me. Good race, man. Good race. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. I thought That's you were going to come up on me now. Thank you. Yep. All right, Jerry, Sammy, welcome to the Army winning circle for a Pink's All Out. At this point, it's my great pleasure to award Jerry the win in the Grand Championship for a Pink's All Out in Indianapolis. Congratulations, Jerry. Good job, Thank my you. friend. Great Thank job. Thank you very much. Jerry, what do you think made the difference on that final pass for you? Pushing my foot to the full board. Yeah. <laughs> Did, trying to trying yeah. to stay in front of him. That's it, all it, there is it, to it. Is your thigh about that much bigger right yeah, now? I yeah. Think, I, yeah, I think all my right. right leg is actually longer. So with that being said, there's another little part that goes to this. Here, on behalf of Speed, $10,000 cash. 20s, 50s, and 100s, thank so good job. Uh, thank you, everybody. And right, the Napa Tool Test yeah. is for years to put in the car and take home. So 
Congratulations to you and all the people, your, your, your daughter and your wife and everybody that's here. Sam, thanks for being part of this. Good day, everybody. I just want pizza all 